What's up guys, Boss here, and in today's video, we're going to be playing some top ladder using RG. So as I said, the last video I made with RG, I personally think it's going to be a lot stronger this meta because there's not much Electro Giant anymore ever since the E Giant and the Golden Knight nerf. So that deck is a lot weaker. You don't see it as much. And that was one of the hardest counters to this RG deck. This is for sure, in my opinion, the best variant because the Skeleton King got a nerf so that one with Tombstone is not as strong. And I think that Archer Queen is the best champion in the game right now. You guys can let me know what you guys think, but I personally think she's definitely top two, but I would say best champion right now. Giant Skeleton, one of the very best cards in the game. I'd say a top five card right now. So, so broken. And then Ghost going to be really good against the Drill. Lightning going to help you break through buildings. I just think it's a little better in RG to have Lightning right now over the fireball. So right now I'm currently 120th in the world right now. We're doing some pushing. We're going to try to climb up even more though. Before we get into it, if you guys would like support me, use my credit code boss. Thank you guys to do that. But yeah, let's head into the first match and I'll see you guys when I find it. All right, we're in our first game here. So we got Electro Spirit Ghost, you know, starting hand. Uh, those are pretty safe cards to start the game off with. I think Ghost um, is fine. We can just play it in the corner if he doesn't do anything in the next few seconds. Other cards like Giant Skeleton, Fisherman, I don't really like to play first play of the game. I would prefer to wait in that case. So we can just Giant Skeleton into his Queen. So Queen is used in a lot of decks, so I don't know for sure what it is. But with Skeletons, it's something cyclish for sure. Maybe Drill. Could be Hog. A couple different things it could be. He's got Minions. Hmm, I actually don't know what this is. The giant skeleton was so close to making it to the tower. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Minions? Skeletons? So he fireballs that, okay. For some reason, it's like if it seems like it could be I was thinking Sparky when I saw the minions, but now I think it but but he has skeletons, so I don't know. I'm very confused, but I guess it's uh Pigs, it's some sort of pig's deck. Very interesting. Our queen will get a lot of value since his spell is fireball and not lightning. We're going to have a nice dual lane push here. He'll have to defend both lanes and use his queen ability. Um, oh wow, he doesn't use it. That's actually crazy. I was I was saying he had to use it or else yeah, it was going to die, but for whatever reason he didn't. He was trying to conserve elixir, I guess. Just log that. And you know what we could actually do? We can go RG because his E-barbs are out of cycle. Queen the minions because it'll one-shot them. And the E-spirit connects. And this might be GG. That was really good. We took advantage of his cycle being messed up. And yeah, this guy's got such a whack deck. I've never seen anything like this before. I've seen a lot of different Royal Hog decks, but I don't think I've ever seen this exact variation this guy's running. So I guess props to him for... You know, making something like this work because it is certainly off meta. The mirror is not off meta on the other hand. That card is really broken right now. But the skeletons and the minions are what make this deck kind of unique. I think for sure he won't get our tower unless he's able to mirror the pigs. If he mirrors them, then he probably will take it because I... Oh my gosh, yeah. I think he's going to take it sadly. Luckily though, he'll have to spend so much that I'm pretty confident we can just take his right tower. I don't think he'll be able to defend. I could be proven wrong, but it's going to be pretty tough for him. I don't think he'll be able to do it. Yeah, you see, he even tries to get desperate and go queen in the pocket. Yeah, that's GG. Nice. I got worried for a second, but yeah, he had to overcommit so much just to take my tower. 11 elixir right. He had to go pigs, mirror them, and that, of course, is just all offense, no defense. So the counter push was just way, way too much for him. Nice plus 30 there to start things off. Let's head into the uh, second game. Okay, we're against Yo Mom James. Interesting name. So we got uh, Ghost, Fisherman, Giant Skelly. Let's see what this guy wants to do. So he's going to go for a Miner. Okay, I'm just going to Ghost and we'll also go Electro Spirit. Just to um, kill the Skeletons. Okay, he goes Delivery. So let's go Giant Skeleton here. I think this guy's using a Miner Control deck. It has Inferno, I think. It's the deck. Uh, shout out to um, Nate, if you guys know who that is. It's a YouTuber who runs this deck. He's very good with it. And 
the deck is kind of known because of him. So we could actually RG in the back because he decided to pre-place the Inferno. He might rocket it, but if he... Actually, I don't think he will because he played the Inferno. But sometimes the minor control players will rocket RGs in the back, even ones in single. But in this case, I'm not surprised he chose not to. Um, I'm going to get... Okay, nice. Very good lightning. That's going to get us some good damage, I think. Log on the skellies. Um, okay, incredible start to this match. So his main mistake was for sure cycling that Inferno. I don't think that was a good play at all because in single... It's very easy for a beatdown player to outcycle an Inferno if they use it on defense on, you know, something that isn't the win condition. He used it on a giant skeleton, and that allowed me to capitalize on that and, you know, get a ton of damage with my RG, as you saw. So, really happy about that. We're gonna go for a Ghost here. Um, okay, I just screwed up really badly. We completely lost our lead. That was... Um, that was horrible. I don't know why I did that. I'm gonna go E-Spirit to take care of the Skeletons, and this is gonna... Ooh, he messed up the Electro Spirit. Wow, we're both making some mistakes right now. Um, we both have not played this very well, that's for sure. Oh, nice. The fact that the Inferno locked on the Fisherman is so clutch. I don't even know how that happened. We managed to get a shot with the RG. Nice. And this is looking like a win for us, unless something crazy happens, because for this minor control deck... If you're down in damage, it's usually really hard to come back. And you typically want to be, you know, in the lead in single. But for him, this has not been the case. Ooh, bad miner as well. That's going to get pulled by the fisherman. We can go for a lightning here. And yeah, that should be GG. This guy definitely did not play that well. Um, baby Nate is probably... If he's like, were to watch this, he'd be very disappointed in this guy's gameplay. I mean, this was... Uh, I don't know what to say. To be fair, though, I can't say I, like, played perfectly. I mean, I don't know what that defense was on the Dark Prince, but either way, we got the win. Lightning really coming in clutch there. You know, great counter that Inferno. That matchup would be very, very tough if he had Fireball, and that's why I really like having Lightning, because there's a bit more Inferno than there was a few months ago. So I'm going to go ahead and claim this real quick. Let's see where we're ranked right now. 104th in the world. Not bad at all. Let's see if we can make it to 7,400 this video. I guess that's a nice goal. And I'll see you guys when we find the next one. All right. In our next match here against Kevin R.A. Last time I played against him, he was using Drill. So we'll see if he's still using that. I'm going to Lightning this. He messed up the King activation. Obviously. I think that's a better play than going Fisherman and activating the King Tower. Maybe I could have gone Fisherman and activated it anyway, but it's hard to do that when you already played a Ghost. So this is a matchup that can go either way, but it's one that gets easier as the game progresses. Obviously, in single, it's probably advantage for the Pigs player just because it's hard to keep up with their cycle. But I would say in double and triple, it's probably in favor for RG. I should have gone E-Spirit there. I don't know why I didn't. I'm going to cycle my Fisherman. He'll for sure go for a delivery. I'm not even going to use... Wait. He didn't? Oh, wow. He, he didn't even need that delivery. That was actually a bad delivery. He did it just to be safe, I guess. But yeah, he didn't need it. We can actually RG here because I just realized because he used a delivery and a queen, he used a ton of elixir. And I don't know if that bomb hits the cannon. Ah, uh, it doesn't. It's unfortunate. We're not going to get as much damage as I thought we would. Just one hit. Mm. We have Ghost and Log and Cycle, though. So if he goes in for Pigs, we're completely fine. We'll take a little bit of damage, but it's not going to be anything too crazy. In fact, I'll even cycle my Ghost now because I have a feeling... Oh, he didn't play it. Okay. There they are. So we're going to go ahead and get the king activated here. That's going to help us out a bit. And I'm fine taking some damage. I guess it's nice we got the king activated. We'll just giant skeleton to defend the queen. And probably get an RG going in the back in a second. I 
Okay, he goes cannon. So yeah, it's going to be harder for him to go royal hogs now because if he overcommits, defending is going to be a struggle for him. So we have that going for us. Queen this lane. Maybe I should have played it in the left. Probably doesn't matter that much. Okay, so he goes in for a queen. Nice, we got some good damage there. The giant skeletons are, I think, the MVP of this match. We can lightning the tower and the queen. Let's do that for sure. That was unfortunate that it was shoving... the RG so we didn't get it to the tower. RG in the back of this lane. try to overwhelm him. Let's go. That's what I was talking about. In Triple Elixir, it gets a little easier to break through, and we managed to do it. RG's in the back, we overwhelmed him. Let's go. Um, again, it's like a matchup that can go either way. I think usually it's one where it's like, well, I can't say it's like the person who played better always wins, because like you could always single Elixir, something unlucky could happen, but um, yeah, it's definitely a close matchup either way. That's going to put us in the top 100, 92nd in the world. We're potentially one game away right now from uh, 7,400. Let's see if we can get it. Okay, in our next one here, and I'm pretty sure this guy actually runs the same deck, the one that we just played against, so we're playing the same matchup, I'm pretty sure. Could be wrong, maybe I'm mistaking it for bait, but it's either bait or pig cycle. I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty certain. We'll see. Okay, there it is. So, yep. Going to be the exact same thing. Cycles his delivery. Go Archer Queen. I actually realized we could have just gone Archer Queen at the bridge because since he used his delivery, he wouldn't have had a good answer for it. I guess it's okay. But that would have been a little better, I think. Replaces a cannon. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. He got back to another, unfortunately. We might be able to get a hit, though. Um, wait, let's go queen at the bridge. He, he doesn't have a lot of elixir, as you can see. If I had an Argene cycle, we would win right now. But I don't. And I can't just log, because... It, it would be... It's unlucky. 
if I just had an RG in hand right now. I think I'm going to do it anyway. Nice. Yeah, I think that's a good play. Alright, now we got the king activated. That's really good. We'll just try to overwhelm him like I did in the game before. Archie this lane. This time definitely not gonna lightning the queen. Lightning this. Nice, it got that last shot. That was really good. Give us that lightning, I don't know why. Maybe he thought we wouldn't be able to hit it in time, but we did. That was definitely a mistake by him. This should be GG. We just probably lightning twice. He might try to lightning block, so we gotta watch out for that. But um, besides that, we should be fine. Yeah, so he, he he might try to go Royal Hogs and Lightning Block. I'm I'm ready for that. I'm going to wait for he, him to go for the pigs. Yep, I knew it. I knew he was going to do that. We're not going to fall for that. I actually Lightning Block two times in a row with Royal Hogs, so I'm like the last person that would fall for a Lightning Block because I know it's, like, it's pretty easy to do and people fall for it a lot. So luckily we didn't fall for that. Um, we are able to get the win. That's going to put us at 7,400. We beat that deck back to back. It's crazy to me that that deck is still good and it was like the best deck in the game like eight months ago or something like that and it's still strong despite all the nerfs it got the earthquake nerf the log nerf the fire spirit nerf the archer queen nerf she got and the deck is still here being used that is ridiculous to me um that the deck is still solid obviously not as good um but still solid all right that's gonna put a 73rd in the world i'd say let's uh play one more game this video and i'll see you guys when we find the final match okay this will be our last game against clem so let's see what this guy's got i have no clue i haven't played against this guy before i don't think and if i have i forgot what he was using so we're just gonna go e-spirit okay he, he's got dark prince dark prince could be a couple different things but if i had to guess i mean Obviously, there's Giant Double Prince. There's, uh... Oh, okay. Could be Giant Double Prince. You have to... This matchup... You, Giant Double Prince is very tricky in Single Elixir. Very tricky. Um, wait a second. What? This... Okay, not Giant Double Prince, then. So, Pekka, maybe? Alright, this is a match that could go either way. It's one that definitely is a little stressful. If he has Mega Knight, I would prefer... Okay, yeah, so definitely not going to be really easy, but it's not that bad at the same time. Could go either way. Oh, let's do this, actually. I think this is going to be really annoying for him because his P.E.K.K.A.'s out of cycle. Oh, he just fireballed that. That's unfortunate. I thought... Oh, wow, we still got a lot of damage, though. Why didn't he... um? Oh, we, we have to lightning this. I, I It's my only play in this situation. 
Yeah, this is not good. He's up a couple of elixir. He might go Remrider at the bridge. But if he does, I'll just go Ghost and E-Spirit. We'd be fine. So yeah, we're okay. We're actually in a good situation. Nice. Really good start. I didn't realize he had a queen. Especially with him already having E-Wiz. I was not expecting that. Okay, so let's see how we want to go about defending this here. Ooh, he tried to trick us. So we blocked the bridge. That was a good zap by him. I gotta give him credit. That was a good play. Luckily, though, um, this counter push should be pretty nice. And the fisherman's gonna prevent him from being able to immediately play a P.E.K.K.A. And I think he's gonna be focused on defense. He might forget to zap the fisherman. Nice, he did. Let's go. And he's doing the CRL number one emote. I don't know why so many top ladder players do that emote. It's kind of funny. I'm gonna do it too. He's so salty. What the heck? <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. Um, yeah, I'm only BMing him because he's doing this here all number one, and like, I don't know, it's cringe. I even think that's more cringe than, um, like, spamming the laugh after losing. Like, I don't know where this, like, came from. Some people in the comments said it looks like the middle finger. I don't think so. It's just a trend. It's stupid, but whatever. We won. Uh, five wins in a row. One, two, three, four, five. Really good stuff. I hope you guys did end up enjoying the video. <laughs> Maybe RG's gonna be the deck this season. I mean, seems to be good. The toughest matchup for this deck is probably Lava, because you only have one air counter, Queen. So, if you don't run into Lava, pretty much everything else is beatable, I'd say. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna be 54th in the world. Let's go. Really good stuff. I might put top 50 in the title, just because top 55 or top 60 sounds kind of weird and i don't know i think we would have gotten top 50 if we continued but it's getting late and also i'm gonna play crl because it just reset if you guys are wondering how i did in the first day i went um nine and one so pretty good you can see my rankings 125th so uh top 128th qual top 128 qualify so i'm in that range as of now we'll try to keep it up uh, in the next couple days it's like a point system so some people you beat you don't get as many points it depends on their own score too so it's a little bit random but things should be pretty um nice and even where they should be um by day three or four i'd say um but yeah make sure to like if you guys did end up enjoying it subscribe if you guys are not subscribed already and thanks again until next time guys